Hello, it is Sheila, the Grateful Goddess. And last week I talked to you about the energy medicine that I did with uh, Donna Eden. And I want to expand upon that a little bit more because I realized there's another tool I can provide you that would be really helpful. What um, a lot of chiropractors will use or what they refer to it as is muscle testing to see if something is right for you and your body. Uh, each one of us is different, like we are all the same in some regards and we are all very different in many regards. So we do need to look at how we've got the similarities and yet we've also got these great differences. And so what's right for one person is not necessarily right for another. And you'll see that in foods oftentimes, you know, what is super healthy for a uh, uh, particular diet approach for one person is not for another. Um, so sometimes you want to just tap in and listen to your own body and find out whether it's in your best interest or not. And so, as I say, you know, sometimes they call it muscle testing and you'll put your arm straight out either to the side or in front of you and an, a practitioner will will see if it's right. And if you are if you hold strong and they ask a question and it doesn't move much, it, it means that it's good for you. And if you, it's something that is not true for you, you're, you, you won't be able to really hold it. And so mm -hmm. that's one way. But when you are by yourself or um, you're not having somebody test for you, it's like, how can, how can we still tap into the body? Well, there's a few different ways to do that. Um, sometimes people use uh, this approach. I've used this before, and if it holds um, when you are asking yourself the question, that means yes, and if it breaks through, it means no. Um, but even that can take some getting used to in terms of practice. Um, so another one is where you stand and you ask yourself a question and if your body leans forward, you're actually using your body as a pendulum and you ask the question and if it just sort of tilts forward, it's a yes. If it tilts back and pulls away, it's a no. Um, and so even that can I mean, I've used that one. It's, it's helpful sometimes, but if you're not getting a clear answer, what I've always really loved is a pendulum. And you can ask the question of the pendulum. And so I used to sell these. I don't anymore. I probably have a few of these left. But um, for the most part, um, you, can, you can buy yourself a pendulum and or you can use a necklace or anything. I've been known to use my earbuds. And you simply hold it and you hold it still and you ask a question and it's often helpful to start with asking the question show me a yes please thank you show me a no please thank you so now you know for you and your pendulum, getting used to it, um, what your yeses and nos look like. And now you can ask any yes or no question that, you, um, that you're wanting. And so let's say that, um, you know, you're asking, are apples beneficial for me? No. I did some um, testing of my microbiome and found out that apples for my particular microbiome are not good. So just like I was saying before, you know, we're all brought up to believe that an apple a day will keep the doctor away, but for my particular body, that is not the, the truth. So it's really awesome that we can test ourselves. Now I think there's a little bit of wind um, coming into play here. Um, okay, so now let's ask a question you know like if you really want to play with it like is my name Sheila a solid yes is my name Jane no um, ask whatever it is you, you would like to ask is um, kale good for my body 
yes is worry good for my body no <laughs> so if this is uh, of use to you know that you can use a necklace you can buy yourself a pendulum you can use your body as a tool but um get used to the idea that we our bodies hold infinite wisdom and we should really check in with it because what's right for someone else may not be right for you hope you found that helpful